Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Dr. Daniel over here, as usual. And in today's video, we're going to be weighing the birds. Now this is something I've been doing very occasionally. Um, it's something that you have to do as often as possible to monitor the growth of the birds. Usually they say, you know, once every week. And I've been doing that. Unfortunately, I haven't been getting the time to record it and show it to you guys. But it is so, 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 so important because this shows you the progress of the birds. So today we have an interesting setup and we're going to be wearing the birds. I'm going to be explaining the purpose of all this to you guys. So please stick around. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Like I said, Dr. Daniel, a practicing medical doctor, very passionate about poultry farming. And yeah, we have a very interesting setup here today. Number one, we have a weighing scale here. It can weigh up to, I think, one kilogram. That's the accepted capacity for the weighing scale. I think it's the kind of weighing scale which is used for cooking and that kind of stuff, you know, for weighing ingredients and stuff like that. So it's quite a tug of war getting the birds to stand here. You know, the birds, the bird has to be patient and you have to handle it nicely. So that it stands here and then we shall have our weight coming on here. Over here, I have a bucket. This is a bucket, guys. You can see it. I just flipped it upside down because it's the only hard surface I have at the moment. You don't want to be weighing from the ground because on the ground we have wood shavings, you know, and these wood shavings are soft. So when the wood shavings are soft and you put a weighing scale on a soft ground, as all of you might know, you know, the weight will not be the correct one. It won't be accurate. Most probably it will be less by a certain value. So you don't want to do that. You will need a hard surface like this. So you put the weighing scale on a hard surface. That's the second thing. And the other thing is over here we have some cardboard boxes that are actually interesting the birds, you know. You can see some of them pecking on the cardboard box. This is where I'm going to be putting the birds that have weighed. And then I will be covering them with the box so that they don't mix with the rest of the population. So that way I'm very certain that the birds that have weighed um, are that particular weight. But before we get into the weighing, what's the advantage of weighing the birds? Why is it really, really important to weigh the birds? Yeah. So guys, what happens is that different suppliers have different um, weight targets for the birds. For example, I told you guys this is the Tetra SL type of layers previously I had the isa brown what i noticed is that the tetra sl weighs a little bit less than the isa browns generally even at maximum laying but the laying is literally the same okay so if you're going to be basing your tetra sl weight using isa brown numbers you're going to get confused you know you just be thinking your birds are underweight yet yeah, that's the recommendation so you need to make sure that the birds are gaining that weight as recommended by the supplier the other thing is that it lets you know whether the birds are growing the way they're supposed to be i.e are the feeds actually okay yeah because if the breed of the birds is good and the birds are not putting on weight then the problem is with the feeds yeah or some kind of stress or some kind of disease so for example previously as you guys might know my birds had coriza and clearly it affected them you know even if it's just a few days or a week their feeding decreases a bit and they will get affected. They won't eat as much during that time or they will lose some little body weight. So um, it affects the birds. If you have some chronic disease, you will have loss of weight and things like that. Secondly, it's hard for you to tell, you know, how birds weigh simply from looking at them. Occasionally, I go to farmers and the farmer is like, oh my God, my birds look good, you know? The birds really, really look good. And then you're like, so how are they weighing according to the projection? And the farmer doesn't know. The birds just look good, you know? They just get the chicken like this and they're thinking, oh, the chicken looks good actually. But if you don't weigh them, you won't know because you don't know how they are, you know, facing up against to the target. The other thing is that the weight is the most important thing that will determine the egg laying capacity yeah so if the birds never put on weight they're going to start laying late yeah for example my previous lot of birds guys my previous lot of birds started laying at around 21 between 21 and 22 weeks for birds that's supposed to start laying at around 18 weeks that's really terrible and i told you guys why yeah i had problems with with the feeding before and things like that so yeah um 
and it was very obvious if i had been monitored actually i was monitoring the weight and i'll tell you guys about that a little bit later on but i was monitoring the weight and i was behind schedule for those for my previous lot of birds so if the birds put on their weight really 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 slowly um number one you're going to have small eggs that's the first thing number two you're going to have fewer eggs yeah number three the birds are going to lay for a really really short time why is it important because during this time as the birds grow that's when the reproductive system the system that's going to be used for developing and laying the eggs that's when it's growing you know developing yeah so if they don't put on the weight well that system won't develop well and then ta-da going to have problems when it comes to the laying okay we're going to start weighing the birds and guys like i say putting these birds on this is not a very easy task yeah not very easy task but i'm going to try to do my best so here we go guys you can see our weighing scale again here it measures in grams and then pounds i guess i don't know what this is we don't use this measurement in uganda so i will use grams and that's what it the weighing scale is really going to use yeah i hope i'll be able to see because getting the birds to stay here is not very easy i have a notebook where i'm going to be writing the weight for each of the birds that i weigh and then after that i want to do around 20 birds you know i want to do around 20 birds or so well it's advisable to do around 40 birds hopefully i can get to 40 but if i can't get to 40 i'll do 20. so you turn it on come on okay Okay, this was 699. This is 649. Six hundred fifty. All right, guys, let's catch our very last one. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, here. Come on. I'll give you the pen. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah? Come on. Oh, yeah. Come on. Sure. Our very last one. Six hundred sixty-six for the very last one. Okay. 666 over here i have 21 guys i couldn't make it to 40. i'll take 21 you guys saw that they were as random as i could be you know i just got any bird that was close to me so that's 21 so i'm just going to you know get the average weight but first let's first set these captives free ba -la -la. Ba set the captives free they're all free okay guys i know it's now getting super bright um i'm done doing the calculations and the average weight of my birds is 677.6 grams now when you get the tetra sl recommendation guide they were talking about the range being 660 to 700 grams well for me i have as high as 804 this one should be eating the friend's food. I have one that's 804. And then I have one that's as low as 544. Um, as Like I told you, I tried to be as random as possible. I just picked what was close to me. And I did 21 birds. Um, and then the average they give is 680 grams. And I have 677.6. Around 3 grams off. But that's not very terrible. Like I told, the birds got sick 
for a short time that clearly affected their growth and everything in my previous lot of birds i was always behind by over 100 grams guys over 100 grams so um right now it's just three grams and i'm certain we can catch up with that yeah so i'm so excited about this is something that you need to do on the farm okay it's something that you need to do some people apparently tell you to weigh you know 10 birds at a go it's okay if you can find a way of weighing 10 birds at a go um i don't know how you would weigh 10 birds at a go put them in a sack or something like that then put them on a weighing scale you want something that's as accurate as possible for each of the birds so this has worked out for me and i keep noting this down and not them down in my excel sheet so yeah guys that's it it's very very important for you to wear your buds and i hope this was helpful otherwise guys if this is your first time and you haven't subscribed to the channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button smash that notification bell that way you never miss out on an upload thanks for watching see you next time with another video bye bye